How's everybody doing today? It's M Tech Moose with M Tech Performance, and today we're going to be doing a CPC install. I'm going to go step by step, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install the CPC by yourselves. So come on over and take a look. The first thing we're going to do is connect our battery maintainer. It's going to be this PowerMax converter, which sends out 100 amps, and we're maintaining at 13.9 volts within the car. So that way, when we flash, no control units fail. Next thing we're going to be doing is removing the side panel as well as the passenger carpet. You just lift up and then you're going to... We're going to have to take the two front bolts out of the seat rail. We're going to be using our swivel E12 socket to get that bolt out. Move the two bolts out of the front seat rails. We'll be able to tilt the seat back slightly and get the carpet out. Removed out of the seat. It makes it much easier to slide the carpet out from that grooved area. You're going to pretty much have to fold this carpet up a little to get it out. Have it folded up pretty much like this. We should be able to just slide right out. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plastic panel in order to gain access to the CPC control unit. Drive with a 10 millimeter socket, and then it should just come right out. See the CPC control unit mounted in the silver bracket. Assembly, we're gonna go ahead and remove the nut down there on that stud. We're gonna remove the nut up here. We're also gonna remove this nut up on this stud. And then we're gonna remove this nut last. That's a lot of nuts! This will loosen the whole assembly to make it easier to pop this control unit out. Three connectors here, and then you should be able to just easily slide out the CPC control unit. The car. So first things first is we need to ID it. Go ahead and grab our MTech Performance CPC control unit and get it plugged in. The MTech Performance CPC control unit plugged in we're gonna go ahead and flash the application to it. But before we put it away, we're gonna make sure everything works right and the car starts. So in order for us to ID the original CPC, you're gonna to have to take your handheld device and you're gonna then plug it into the OBD2 port. You can see we already have ours plugged in and you're gonna run the other end of the cable to your laptop. We'll be remotely on the other end taking care of things. Successfully written the tune file into the CPC we're gonna go ahead and cycle the ignition. You're gonna see a lot of errors in the cluster. This is normal. So in order to cycle the ignition, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna wait five seconds. We're gonna turn the ignition back on into the second click. Keep in mind, this is also the click that you'll need to be on when we ID the original CPC. Now that we've cycled the ignition, I like to turn it off again, and then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the vehicle starts. Now that we know that we're good to go and the CPC was successfully ridden, we're gonna go ahead and button up our floorboard and we're gonna go ahead and install that CPC control unit permanently back into its location, and we're gonna go ahead and get the carpet back in as well. Now you can see we successfully flashed the CPC control unit, as well as install all the panels and brackets that hold it all together. Always be sure when installing these kick panels, Make sure you don't pinch any of the wires. Something I've seen done in the past and uh, the car happened to go a little crazy. The AC wasn't working and a bunch of other things that uh, somebody ended up doing on their own. So make sure you're very careful with the harness to the left as well as the harness to the right. Back into the floorboard. I'm going to show you guys a little trick when installing this. To install everything back in, pretty much you're going to do the reverse procedure of what we did to take everything apart. What to do is take some silicone lubricant. You could use the brand of your choice. Today we're using Worth. So now we're gonna take our lubricant spray and we're gonna spray on the bottom of this carpet on the foam. We're gonna spray pretty much this whole thing with a nice coat. And the good thing about silicone lubricant spray is it's gonna dry itself. It won't leave any smells or residues. And now the purpose of this is this foam pad here is very grippy. So now this lubricant spray is gonna help us slide the carpet right into place. So now I'm gonna use my plastic trim tool and I'm gonna to try to run this around the actual seat rail to get the carpet to sit in place. Now that we have our carpet installed nice and flush in all corners and areas, we're gonna go ahead and install the side panel. When installing this panel, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure this very front flap here is the first thing that gets put in, and then the rest will follow. Actually lay it down, and you're gonna have a tab here, and you wanna make sure that tab follows right into that receiver there. You wanna just press down nice and firm, and should be good to go after that. 
that we have the CPC installed and flashed, we also paired this car with a stage one ECU tune. So I wanted to show you guys some of the benefits you're gonna get from doing the CPC. So within the CPC, you're gonna be able to remove the speed limiter as well as remove torque limitations, which in turn is gonna give you more horsepower and more torque. Another major thing that comes with this is we can now control the diagnostic operation of the muffler flaps and turn off any limp modes we may get from diagnostic muffler flap errors. So one of my favorites is gonna be here. Once you go to vehicle settings and then you go to dynamic select and go to engine data, you're then gonna be able to see the tuned horsepower of the car. So let's give you guys a ride and show you how much horsepower this thing can show us in the cluster. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're interested in doing this to your own vehicle, please click the link below. And also keep in mind, we can do CPC flashing as well as ECU tuning from anywhere in the world remotely.